Now we're going to move on to doing the new clutch cable. And uh, I also have a new air filter that we'll throw in real quick as well. So the first thing we're going to do is bring these adjustments all the way in to give us as much slack as we can for our clutch cable. Make it a little bit easier to pull out. Now on these, I'm going to see right across the top. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that right there. There's a split in these collars and that's where that cable is going to feed. There's also a split along the front of your, uh, your handle mount. So you're going to line those up and then you're going to have to bring it in a little bit more. Now we're going to take that back end of the cable. There we go. Now they're all the way forward. Line up all your grooves. And this cable pops right out like so. There you are. There's the end of it. This is a little plastic sheath on it as well. Don't lose that. Now we're going to go to the other end. Now on the clutch end, you have these two nuts here that mount it up. And again, there's a small cutout here that for the cable. So what we're going to do is loosen these nuts all the way up. Now we have a little bit of play in here. So we'll loosen this up as well. This is a 12 millimeter wrench. And then we're going to pop it out of the, this clutch arm and it'll slide. We're going to take this nut all the way off. And then that's going to slide right through there, this cable. This is easier when the uh, cable isn't as seized as this one a little bit. slack out of it. There we go. Now, since I do have a replacement, theoretically I could cut this. But I'm trying not to, just to show you guys how it's done. But I think it is just not enough. <clears throat> oh, I got a little bit there. There we go. Just need a little bit more slack. And that pops out just like that. We're gonna pay attention to the way it's rooted through everything. And then you go ahead and pull it out. And there is our clutch cable. So let's go ahead and replace it. Well, it's never easy. The new clutch cable that I ordered, specifically stating that it fits a 1982 uh, CB450T, doesn't fit. In fact, you can see here, this, the old one, is kinked, but also has about an inch on the other end. And if I line it all up, the new one is still a quarter of an inch short. While on the other end, it's, come on camera focus, let's do that like that. The old one here has about an inch left where the new one's tight. So the new cable is, is over an inch short compared to what it needs to be. So it's not allowing even both ends to hook up without fully pulling in the clutch. It's, it's not even close. So gonna return it and try to find the proper one. I have a sneaking suspicion that these fit probably the five speed bikes. Uh, maybe that it's a six speed. It has a weird discrepancy in, in length. I don't know. Um, these might be a lot of purchase and returns trying to find this. Uh, I just have a feeling that they're all listed as the same part for all the 1982 450s, 400s, where this is it's kind of a specialty bike. It's a little bit different. Um, and I, I think that that's going to kind of plague me on a lot of these parts, which 
I was worried about, but I uh, was kind of hoping because everything was listed. 450T, perfect, great. So uh, I'm going to try and look up, see if I can find one for a Honda Hawk. Maybe I'll have better luck with that, but let's see what we can find next. All right, so after some ups and downs on this, I think I finally found the correct clutch cable for this. This is from Motion Pro. Parts number is 02-0200. Judging it off of the new one in the original, looks like it's right. We're gonna go ahead and try and install it. And if it's not right, the hunt will continue. But I have a pretty good feeling about this one. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure that this adjustment is as far in as it can get. With the line still, the groove still lining up. That's about right. Drop that in there. So let's route this first. So one comes through triple trees. Down around the exhaust. Go. Go ahead and insert that in there. That through there. Go ahead and pull that sheath tight. Everything looks good down at the other end. Let's go put in the clutch side. Okay, so with this end. Spin this second nut all the way in, spin the first one all the way off. Go ahead and slide that through that carrier right there. Yeah, this is much, much better. I'm gonna have to take up some adjustment, which is great. And then we'll go ahead and spin that on. We have plenty of wiggle room on this cable, which is great. Ooh. I almost forgot. I'm gonna pop that off for one second. It came with a small boot just to protect it. Try and protect the cable the best it can. I'll just slide over there. Now nah, let's go ahead and install that. It just slides into a little C groove on this and then it's captured by the wider part. Now. Go ahead, that's a start right about there. 12 millimeter. Tighten that down. Now we have adjustment on both ends, so. That's pretty decent. We'll go finish up the adjustment on the clutch lever side but pretty good. We might have to loosen it up just a little bit on this side so we can close up those holes on the uh, clutch lever, but I think we're in good shape. Back up on the clutch lever end, we're just gonna spin this out to try and take up a little bit more of this play. There we go. It's just tight because of the friction caused by the cable. It comes in at a weird angle on this. Still a lot of play in that, but that's okay. Take this out a little bit further. You want about a nickel's worth of play in your clutch lever just to make sure that it's not accidentally engaging the clutch plates at all. It'll cause uh, clutch slippage, premature wear. Not what you want. All right, just a little bit more. That's about all I want to bring that out. That is just about perfect. Let's go to feel. Yeah, it can come in a touch more, but I'm pretty happy with that. Clutch has good engagement. Snapping right back. It's not sluggish like it was before. That's pretty perfect should be good to go.